Well, that arcade cabinet's gone, too. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. I looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing! Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually ha uh, happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Uh, tag along. If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because uh, where's my lore card? There it is. The last guy to work with me ditched our par uh, practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. <laughs> You varmints. <laughs> what are you doing, all doing in my saloon? <laughs> You're trying so hard to stay in the character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> I'm just a fake one. <clears throat> Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. <clears throat> Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than that. I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems like we're on our own. Brad, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, then interrogate. Right. Let's do it. All right. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Hmm, kind of bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> Got him. That leads out. Robot hand. The robotic arm here is... The robotic arms here are really helpful. Arm. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Yeah, we're all asking ourselves that question these days. There's another trash can. It's always in the trash can. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is knowing me. <laughs> this is funny. Cups. Uh-oh, there's some red on that cup. Brad, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? <laughs> Brad, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Used cups. Good. What's this? Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. <laughs> this thing's more like me than I thought. I don't mind roller coasters. Though I mind myself running, I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Arcade machine. Clearly, we won't be able to play the game Super Monkey Ball or, or give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Yeah. I wanted to play Donkey Kong. But we think it broke when the train. But do you? But do we think we? It broke when the train sped up. <laughs> Damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> hey, look at the looks! What 
are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade out of your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate, knuc interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. All right, big boy. I thought I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> I, like your, I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's gonna be... It doesn't look like he's just being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! Uh-oh. I don't know what I clicked. Knuckles, Brad and I need to determine what you were doing the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Uh, it is? We have evidence, too. Well, we have evidence, too. Well, we do. Brad, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The game. The arcade machine? <laughs> what made you think I touched it? Maybe the gigantic fist marks in it? You see, uh, you have no argument here. You're weak. <clears throat> yeah, let's go. I got this. Huh. Alright, we got enough. Okay, Mr. Red Rat, you're gonna have to tell us what you did. Bit of gamer rage. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. What are you staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us an answer. Or give us our answer. How will you... I'm on it! Brad, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! What am I gonna do? Fight him? Ah. Ow! <laughs> I guess I can jump over that part. Yeah, I can just regularly jump. I don't need to hit the, uh... Jesus! Uh, save me. Ow, my god! Uh. Ah! Didn't get enough! Start over. I got hit too many times. I don't even know how. <laughs> got it that time. Let me show you the way. Your okay, machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick! Look at the scores! <laughs> Just, I love the writing in this. It's hilarious. I'm pulling it up now! Ah! He's trying to beat Vector. Okay, what does this tell us? Uh, nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector! He's supposed to be in the library car! <clears throat> The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you! Ugh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet! Ugh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing! Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name! Prove to me he was here, now! 
I don't like all this thinking. Ow, I landed on the spikes. Got it. Thinking too much if you ask me. Now, Brad, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Mm. That doesn't. Hmm. No. That's... That's rouge. I mean, either we're either gonna have it's either gonna be because he had to go through here to get to the next room, or because his name is on the thing. I'm gonna say it's the map. Ha! Huh, I knew it! You were both talking out of your bottom! Let's try it again. Oh that wasn't it. Okay, well I'm I'm thinking a little bit too far ahead, maybe? What the f no! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Okay, I was the number of cups, not the lipstick. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's... I'm... Uh, it's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Uh, d d don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure out the game, figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the cup with lipstick, Mark? <clears throat> Rouge was here, too. Uh, Rouge was in here, too. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up. I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. <clears throat> Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quests. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Brad, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Toast, apple, bread, ultim, ultim? That one. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by ultim? You may not know, Brad, but there is someone here that goes by the title Ult, the ultimate life form. Ah. There's really somebody here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Hey. Calm down there, Mr. Fancy Hat. Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game in the first and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. A key! Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone, and then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. 
That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Blah. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with, uh, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. All right. Knuckles is clear. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful, uh, earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I did better when he wasn't talking to us. <laughs> Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Brad. Let's head to the library. On it. This, this is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Brad! Uh, coming! Alright. To the gator. Ready to mosey down to the next car? Yes. Onwards! <laughs>